Hello, welcome to LearnToCook.com. I'm Chef Mark. Today we'll be learning how to cook fish, fresh fish particularly. We're going to blacken a fish steak or a fillet in a pan on our stove. And we're going to um, have a cast iron skillet very, very hot to blacken it. I like to use tuna steak or swordfish or shark. They blacken up very nicely or thick cut catfish steaks. But say a nice tuna works well. Fresh tuna, doesn't have any smell, so you know it's very fresh. What I'm gonna do is uh, put a few drops of oil on the fish, on that beautiful tuna steak on both sides. Make sure my skillet is very hot. And I'm gonna put my blackening seasoning right on my fish filet or fish steak, your choice. Usually something thicker is best. Thick cut swordfish, shark, tuna. The oil will help the uh, blackening seasoning stay on the uh, fish fillet itself. If you're using fresh, using fresh fish, you're in luck. If you're using frozen fish, defrost that, make sure it drains, and then you can blacken any frozen halibut or grouper steaks or cod steaks blacken very nicely as well. So it's frozen. If they're frozen, you can defrost them first. So I have my blackening season. I'll just put a little more on there on all sides and just pat them in nicely. I'm gonna go over to my stove now. I have my skillet on nice and hot, a few drops of oil. I'm gonna lay this steak right on there. So it's good to have your vent on in your home, right? You have the vent on because it's going to give out lots of smoke because we're blackening it. And as you may know, the blackening process used by the Cajuns, not a whole lot of oil available for them or fat to cook with since they're in the bayous. So cast iron skillet over a fire. It got really hot. They were able to get seasonings Obviously, a blackening seasoning. There's blackening seasoning for meat, and there's a blackening seasoning also for fish. So this is the one we're using for fish. So it smells wonderful. Let's see how blackened it is. Because we want, we want it to be blackened. Let's blacken it up nice. Now you can get it blacker if you want. Blacken it even more if you prefer. So that flame, as you can see, that skillet's been on there a long time. It's, well, not white hot, but it's getting close, as you can see. So that's gonna blacken up really nicely. When you cook a tuna, a blackened tuna, you'll wanna make sure that the inside is rare, medium rare. Otherwise, it can be very dry, just like shark and tuna. And swordfish, they're very dry, so they benefit from being cooked a little under. So that's cooking up very nicely. I'll just let that cook for a few moments. So now that we've cooked it four minutes on each side for a medium rare, you can see if you press your fingers, it's sort of like in a, a, the medium rare position on your hand. It'll, your, if you put your index finger and middle finger together and press that muscle here, spongy but firm, that's mid rare, we like that. So I'm gonna press it on my, put it on my beautiful plate. I like the Cajun blackening, so a little chili oil, why not, a little extra chili oil. I also have a little uh, pomegranate syrup I'm gonna place on there, and then top it off with some shredded scallions. There you have it, blackened fresh fish on a pan. 